open a much more senior advisor to the Trump 2020 re-election campaign and President Trump's daughter-in-law, Laura Trump. Laura, thanks so much for being with us. I uh, I told you this morning on uh, uh, I did about 7:05, so I know it's been a long day for you. Uh, tell us, tell us about. Uh, you know, your perception of the DNC and the convention that they had last week. Yeah, well, what a sad, dark, depressing t depiction of America, quite frankly. I don't know if you didn't want to live in the Democrats' America before the convention, Janine. You certainly don't want to live in it after seeing the convention. Uh, there was really no talk as to how they would make this country better, uh, any policy plans that they had. It was basically just dump on Donald Trump. Uh, we got the picture, guys. We know you don't like Donald Trump. And what a good and decent man Joe Biden is. Unfortunately, that is not what this country needs, just a good and decent man. There are a lot of those out there. We need somebody to get the job done. And that is Donald Trump. So I think uh, this coming week, we're very excited, Janine, to showcase our convention from the Republican side because it will be a 180 degree departure from what you saw last week. And I, I promise you won't need toothpicks to keep your eyelids open because uh, we're going to make it a little more exciting. Well, clearly the numbers, I'm sure, for them were quite disappointing. They were very low numbers in terms of people who, who actually sat down and watched the uh, watched their convention. But who who's going to be speaking? I guess it's the usual. I mean, in terms of the family. Uh, but how will this be different? I mean, how will this not be as dark, dreary, and depressing? Which were words that were used over and over by them. Yeah. Uh, well, it will be very different from the Democrats, where you saw them drag out, of course, the Hollywood celebrities like they like to do, and, mm. you know, a bunch of politicians that, man, I, we all thought were gone away and then we wouldn't have to hear from again, but they dragged them all out. Ours will be a, a convention of and for the American people. So you'll hear stories from people this coming week many of, of whom did not vote for Donald Trump in 2016, who are now voting for him because they have felt the positive impact of Donald Trump as our president. They believed the fake news, Judge Jeanine, uh, previously, and now they get it. They, they've seen the light. They want to vote for Donald Trump. They want to tell their story. We'll have people who have lived through socialism and are going to warn against the Democrats because, as we well know, this is the most far left radical socialist ticket in the history of American politics with Joe Biden and Kamala Harris now. Uh, so it'll be a very clear vision uh, of, of a positive, patriotic um, America that we can be proud of. And that's, that's what we always want at the end. You want to have hope and inspiration. Unfortunately, the Democrats didn't present that. But again, ours will be real American people telling their stories. And I think it's going to be really great. Well, you know, even when you look at the two men, Laura, I mean, you look at the president, I mean, he's got energy, he's got an edge to him, he is aspirational, he's inspirational, I mean, he's the kind of guy who really is, he, he can excite crowds of 20,000 people. I mean, you know, Sleepy Joe is a, a, a little different character, but don't you think it was stunning, the fact that there was no mention of the thing that people uh, are, are going through in some of the big cities in, in Minneapolis and, and Detroit and Los Angeles and, and Portland and Seattle, all of the burning and the looting. There's no talk of New York City and crime going up. How could they actually ignore that? I mean, it is the, it's the one thing that we should be discussing because these are our great American cities that are being absolutely destroyed before our very eyes. But I think you didn't hear them mention it because they know what we know. They know that these cities are run solely by far left Democrat mayors. These states are run by Democrat governors and they're not doing their job. They're not doing what they promised and swore an oath to do for the people of their cities. They're letting the mob run things. They are letting anarchy reign. And uh, so, yeah, we didn't hear that from the Democrats. You will hear uh, about how disappointed some people uh, in our convention are about that. We're going to talk about how we support the police. And unlike the Democrats, we don't want to defund the police. We want to defend the police. Uh, so shocking to, to you know have them completely ignore it. But I guess it's not surprising because they know that they would have to own that. And, and maybe they don't want to bring that up for people and remind them about that. Do you think that Joe Biden, Laura, is actually going to have three debates with President Trump? 
Well, I certainly think he will do everything in his power not to debate this president. Um, I, I think that, you know, they had him on a teleprompter. Everybody lauded this great speech that he gave on Thursday night. What a great job Joe Biden did. I mean, Janine, he was on a teleprompter. I don't know how, how bad we thought that he would be. I, I assume he can still read. Um, but I, I think that they've made it very clear they do not want to debate President Donald Trump. As we know, I think uh, I've talked about this many times, the fact that we have people that will start voting in this country well before a debate ever takes place, weeks before a debate ever takes place. It is so needed, but they know that they don't want to get that candidate of Joe Biden on stage with the best debater of them all, President Donald Trump. We'll see what happens. Well, without a doubt, that will be a night for a lot of viewers. <laughs> Laura Trump, thanks so much for being with us on a, uh, on a busy day for all of us. Take care. You got it. Thank you. All right. And Charlie Kirk, Leo Terrell still ahead. But next, Democrat-run cities being run into the ground. How do we stop it? A man who knows a thing or two about running big cities, former Mayor Rudy Giuliani, joins me in a moment. Don't go away.